Ash here from CurseForward.com and in this video I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to root your Nexus 4. So guys the first thing you need to do is go ahead and head up link 1 from the download section in the description and download and install the Nexus 4 toolkit. So uh, this is available from XDA developers and uh, I've linked you to this thread just go ahead and select click here to download. Instead of linking you directly I've given you this link so that you can always download the latest toolkit available. And as of now, this works with Jelly Bean builds up to 4.2.0 JOP40C. All right. Uh, don't worry. It, it this keeps getting updated uh, on a regular basis, so you should have no issues. You can just follow this tutorial. All right. If you have any questions, always leave it in the comment section or hit us up at Cus for our forums. Again, link in the description. So once you have Nexus, the Nexus 4 toolkit installed, just double click on it and open it up. When it asks you for an update, hit N. Alright guys, over here, since we are on Android 4.2, just go ahead and hit 1. Uh, you do not have to be on the exact build, because that's what it says for rooting and performing tasks on your device. If you cannot find the build in the below list, then you can select the next build up, as long as it's in the same Android number, 4.2. So, we are on 4.2, and you can check it by going into settings about phone, Android version 4.2. So hit 1 and hit enter. So guys, first thing you do over here is do not connect your phone to the PC. Just go ahead, hit 1 and install uh, the Google Nexus 4 drivers. And again, uh, if you're on Windows 8 or 7, that's select 2. And if you're on XP or Vista, select 1. So I'm on Windows 8, so I'm selecting 2. And hit 1 to install drivers. So just wait while the driver installation completes. Alright, the drivers have been installed now. So what you do right now guys is on your Nexus 4, quickly go into settings and go to about phone and just keep tapping your build number. And now it says you're a developer. Go back and now you'll see developer options over here. Tap on it. Again, scroll and select USB debugging. Make sure, make sure it's, it's checked. Hit OK. And now go ahead and connect your uh, your Nexus 4 to the PC with a micro USB cable. So, guys, uh, before before we go ahead and do this step, uh, which is unlocking the bootloader, make sure that you've backed up all the I mean everything that you want, because unlocking your bootloader tends to wipe everything on your device. So. Uh, my device is fresh, I just had it delivered like 5 minutes back so I don't have anything on it. So guys now go ahead and hit number 3. And I've hit 1 to unlock bootloader. It'll ask you whether your phone is in fast boot mode. It's not so let's hit N. Now the phone will reboot again. And guys at this point if you run into any issues, uh, you might run into some issues if you're on Windows 8. If you run into any issues, uh, there are, what do you say? Uh, solutions in the description so just go ahead hit the links up from the description and get your drivers installed uh, alright so over here this is what uh, you will see on your phone yes to unlock bootloader no not to unlock so use your volume buttons to navigate select yes and hit the power button to select so right now your lock state over here will change to an unlocked so that's that so right now go ahead and hit 4 to root. So guys over here select 4 boot clockwork mod recovery install root busybox plus rename restore files. So hit 4 and are you ready to start? Before you do that before you hit yes over here just hit the power button so that you get back into Android. Because your device needs to be booted into Android. So just waiting for waiting for the Nexus uh, 4 to reboot so we are up let me quickly get through setup so right now I've gone to settings again scroll down about phone down to the build number keep tapping it Go back and have you get developer options, go into it, select USB debugging. 
Alright, now you can go ahead and hit yes, tap Y to start and your cable needs to be connected. So the phone is rebooting back into fast boot mode now. Uh, so guys right now go ahead and select install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and now select folder 0 and now you will have super SU over here so tap on it and hit yes install so that will take a few seconds it's done now go back and select reboot system now So that we have Super SU. Go ahead and select 6 to flash recovery. If you guys just want to root your phone, we are done. You have root access on the phone. Just hit like and subscribe and you're done guys. But if you want to go ahead and get a custom recovery installed, just go ahead and hit 6 right now. And uh, hit 1 to flash clockwork mode. Is your device in fast boot mode? No, nope. And now the phone will reboot. Clockwork mod touch recovery is being flashed and it's done. So, right now, you can just navigate to recovery mode and hit the power button, and it will boot you into clockwork mode. There you have it. So, you can reboot your system now. So, that's pretty much it, guys, when it comes to rooting the Nexus 4. If you guys have any questions or if you run into any issues and need assistance, you can hit us up at gusforward.com slash forums uh, and uh, if there's anything you guys want to let me know leave it in the comment section or if you want to stay updated on the latest updates and videos you can hit me up on uh, Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus all of my contact details are in the description and for a full set of written instructions head on over to gusforward.com and if you guys do want to help me out use my links to Amazon from the description if there's anything that you want to order online you can go ahead uh, and if you can buy it off Amazon, you can go through to Amazon using my links. Doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, doesn't necessarily have to be smartphone related stuff. Whatever it is, uh, every time you guys go through my links and you place an order, I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks. So that is if you guys do want to help me out. And if you're from India, take a look at our uh, eBay store, the Gus Power store on eBay. Uh, the link is in the description again. We are mainly dealing with uh, computer, computer related hardware right now. We've got some great deals, so go ahead. Check that out guys. So, uh, well that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay subscribed. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Till then you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.